The first place, four and seven. That's right, the first place, four and seven, New York Giants. Travel all the way across the country to Seattle where they're a 10-point underdog. Seattle's coming off a victory over the Philadelphia Eagles. Daniel Jones has a hamstring injury. He probably won't play in this game. That means Colt McCoy will get the start. He was 6 for 10 filling in for Daniel Jones. I don't think that's going to be enough for them to win. Their defense is actually playing extremely well this year. They're fifth in run defense, ninth in total defense. But I still think when you let Russell Wilson cook, he'll get the job done. He always figures out a way to get it done. 10 points is a lot to swallow in this game. I'm not crazy about their defense, but DK Metcalf has been spectacular this season. I'm going with Seattle to win this game. I think they cover the 10 points, but just barely. I think Seattle wins this game 37 to 23. Well, there's a lot of reasons why you would like the Seahawks. Let's start with Daniel Jones. He's having a nice year. Eight touchdowns, but nine interceptions, Mark. And what's really amazing about this game, the quarterback to the leading passer, but also the leading rusher for both teams. I, I think the defense is playing much better for the Giants, but I don't think it's going to be good enough. The Stayhawks are still in first. Everybody talks about the great receivers in the NFL. But boy, uh, there's no doubt that the Seahawks have one of the absolute best. He has over 1,300 yards receiving already this year, which is absolutely fantastic. I think that the, no doubt the Seahawks find a way to win. And when you have Every team in the NFC East, a nine-point underdog or more, that tells you we got problems there. I look for the Seahawks to win this football game 34-17. to 17. 